What is going on guys? Welcome back to another episode of Pack Attack here and you're probably wondering what the, where the hell did Marty Straka and where the hell did Chris Higgins come from? Well, I actually recorded an episode and uh, okay, so a little story here. I actually, uh, I, you, know, I, you guys know I got a new computer like last month or whatever and I just built this ultimate desk. It's huge. It covers my whole room so I can have two computers now. So I brought back my old PC and I'm like, great, you know, I can render two videos at once, get more videos out for you guys. So I was trying to do that and my computer could not handle it and unfortunately I made the dumb mistake of recording a pack attack on my old computer and it just could not handle it so I lost the whole thing it was crashed and the first like three minutes was okay but then the rest was just choppy and I don't even know what happened so I'm only gonna stick to this computer for rendering now so I do apologize you guys missed out on one episode there was two games and the two packs that we did open were a uh, Marty Straka and a Chris Higgins so they weren't anything special uh, if you guys missed the the last episode, the one that, the one before this, the one that obviously I uploaded because you didn't see the other one. Uh, this is the this is the players that we got from our 500k pack opening: Dan Girardi, Tootin and I think we got a Travis Zajac and a Dustin Brown. So I did win the two games though. We did get a new logo and a new jersey which is the Edmonton Oilers one and uh, I did actually win those two games. As you can see here, uh, here we go, Roberto Luongo 12-0. and The guy is playing absolutely outstanding so we're now on a 12 game winning streak. That means the next game is going to is going to be equal to a 17k pack and then if we get to a 5 game winning streak in this episode we will open up a special pack and it is a 25k pack and these are the type of packs that I absolutely love opening for pack attack which are not too too expensive but you do have a really good opportunity to get a really good player so there is a sick team of the week this week it's all the Stanley Cup editions and now I'm just gonna quickly glance through them all you guys can pause and take a look if you really like I would love to get one of these cards for our team that would be outstanding uh, I mean it would just be sick I actually have a Kobotar on my real team right now and he is a monster so if we can pick up one of him in the packs that would be absolutely outstanding but we'll, without further ado let's hop into some games here I am now in division number three so the games are gonna get nothing but harder from here on out so let's hop into it all right 12 game winning streak on the line against Crimson Shadow pretty cool name uh, let's see what kind of team this guy has he has Nicholas Backstrom as his best point producer I actually really like the Edmonton Oilers logo and the Oilers jerseys although I think we have the Hershey Bears one for this for this episode yeah we do he's got Gabrick he's got Zetterberg and he's got Nicholas Backstrom so he's got a pretty good team uh, let's see how we can compete here he's got Latang. oh this guy's got a sick team just from the first 10 seconds, I can already tell he's a good player. He uh, likes to pass back to the point, and uh, yeah, he just, I can I can already tell he's a sick player. Cross crease, Camilleri. Oh, oh Camilleri! There you go. After Dougie Hamilton makes a great effort to keep the puck in on the blue line, Camilleri just snipes that one past the big Ben Bishop. There we go. That's how you do it. They just kept it in there. Oh, beautiful, beautiful, just beautiful. Go upstairs on the tall goalies. It works. Ben Bishop was covering the bottom of the net. You're not going to score there. But if you go upstairs, it's going to go top cheese. Also, we got Cam Fowler in the uh, packs as well. I forgot to mention that in the 500k pack opening. So it wasn't all bad, but still definitely not worth the 500k. But So he hasn't even got a shot on goal yet. We're 12 minutes into the game and uh, Roberto Luongo has not yet made one stop. So let's try to keep it that way. Palat with some dangles. Oh, he's hurt. No, Palat's hurt. No, 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 no. Hopefully we can get some injury cards. Hopefully it's not for too long, but... It's like a concussion or something. Oh, I just got wrecked. Ryan Getzlaff. Sit down, Palat. The Getzlaff train. Is that a thing? The Getzlaff train? I don't know. It is now. Douglas. Dougie. 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 Oh, he's got a cannon, man. Hoodler. Yuri. Oh, Bishop. He's going to cover the bottom of the net all day. It's going to be impossible to score on a man who is like six foot eight on the the bottom of the net it's just impossible okay after the first period it's still one to nothing here uh not bad we're doing all right we're doing all right this guy uh, has got a pretty good team but uh he's not the best player so he's only got three shots oh man parise just has an absolute cannon and i've noticed uh complete Oh, wow, just destroyed. But uh, I have totally noticed a difference from the regular Parise with the Parise with the captain card. He's so much better. It's like night and day with this guy. 
Another thing I really like about Pack Attack is I get to use players I wouldn't generally use, like Dustin Brown or whatever. In the episode that got uh, corrupted or whatever, oh fuck, bad move on my part. He was killing it. He, uh, he, oh no, 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 no. Why didn't he pass it out front? That would have been an easy, easy goal. But uh, he was really good and he scored a couple of uh, goals. So that's kind of cool. I would have never really used a, a, a Dustin Brown if it wasn't for Pack Attack. So, oh man, Luongo, Louis, stopping thousands of shots. Oh, I knew that was going in. Got the tip from Jakob Voracek there. Uh, gets left with a nice shot, and uh, Jakob Voracek with the nice tip. 1-1 one, one now. There you go, Douglas. Oh, Dougie with the huge block sends Ajax away. He's getting Emmanuel goalie. Oh, why? Jeez, I knew he was going to do that. I, he always does it so late. I I'll never have time to react. So next time I'm on a breakaway, I'm just going to rip it. Oh, fuck. And he's going to score here. Oh, my God. He's taking the penalty. Oh, wow. Dougie with the huge block sends Zajac on a breakaway. But, oh, I cannot fucking finish. Now, Straka just laid out Marty... Marty gets laugh. <laughs> I am an idiot. So, usually I would edit that out. But that was kind of funny. Marty gets laugh. My man. No, 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 no. Ryan Kessler from the point beats his ex teammate Roberto Luongo. What a cannon. Two to one. Come on, boys. Let's go. Come on, Douglas. Lay the guy out. Score a goal. Doggy. Oh, fucking Bishop. Why are you so big? Stop being so fucking big. Ben Bishop. Big Ben. Stop it. God damn, we should have had two goals there, but Ben Bishop is the size of fucking Godzilla and he just fucking slides over all the time. 16-12 uh, are the shots again, very, very, very even, but oh, cannot beat the ginormous Ben Bishop. Oh, how did that go in? What an ugly goal. What an ugly goal. Come on, boys. 12-game winning streak is on the line here. We haven't lost in, like, seven episodes. Come on. The, oh, fuck! That should have been in the back of the net. Bad luck, Tech. Again! Fucking shoot it right at him, you dumbass. We should. We could, we could have easily had three goals there. Easily. Fuck. Getting rammed right now. Bishop is just so big. <laughs> That's just the moral of the story. He's just a fucking big guy. Fucking Wayne Train, any other goal that would have been in. But Ben Bishop is the size of a fucking Titanic and he just gets over there. Hey! Chris Higgins, fourth liner. There's Big John Scott there, acting like he did something, but he did not. I think that was assist from Marty Straka. Assist from Marty Straka, was it? Getting his first point. There we go, Marty Straka and Tootin. Chris Higgins, nice goal, buddy. Come on, Higgins. Let's get Higgy with it. Oh, John Scott! How do you not snipe that? Snipe it! Scotty! John Scott! Oh, man. What an opportunity. Fucking John Scott. He's big. That's all. That's just it. I have nothing else to say about John Scott. He's just a big guy. He's a big dude. <laughs> I was trying to think of something clever to, to say about John Scott. I am pretty sure I know this guy. Like, I've... I recognize his gamer tag. Go, Camilleri. Go, 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 go. You're fast, you're fast, you're fast. Yes! Oh, fucking Bishop! Stop being so goddamn big! Jesus Christ, you're a massive guy. <laughs> Fuck! And not used to losing with the pack attack. Ooh, post-concussion syndrome. He's done. He's done for a little while, eh? So, uh, yeah, that was a big loss. 3-2. to two. Um, I wouldn't say we outplayed him. It's really even. We had a bit more shots, but, uh, damn. Damn, damn, damn. Ben Bishop, though. Just a big guy. God damn. Okay, so we got to open up a silver pack, and we got to use the, um... We have to use whatever I get from the silver pack, so... All right. Oh, that sucks. Roberto Luongo with his first loss. Oh, no way. So we're back to square one now, opening up a silver pack. If we lose two games in a row, we have to open up a bronze pack. So I'm not... 
I'm not re really looking forward to that. And who am I going to use here? Oh, I have to use one of these guys. <laughs> First off, we got a new logo, which is a pretty cool logo. It's not available. Actually, it's nothing. I don't know what's going on. But uh, there we go. We're going to use this logo, and we're going to use the Springfield Falcons jersey. Um, we had no injury cards. So that's not good. But uh, who could I use here? I really like Straka, so we'll keep Straka. Maybe get a uh, new defenseman, I guess. Um, we, only, I mean, we only have to use him for one game. Uh, I guess we'll use the highest overall player. I guess we'll just use him for Marty Straka for one spot. So we'll uh, we'll get this Gene guy out of there, and we'll um, with the moment of truth. How how long is Palat injured for? Ten games. God, Dad, don't have any torso injuries. Uh, I do not. I do not. So he's gone for 10 games. We need a replacement for the big guy. Um, I guess Nino Niederreiter will replace them with Nino for right now. That is a huge loss, and we're going to have to start Braden Holby. And uh, we're going to have to put this guy in Marty Straka's spot. So we're hurting right now. We are definitely hurting. Uh, Gene, let's get in there, buddy. Uh, 48 chemistry, what a line, but yeah, we're hurting right now. Uh, after that loss, we lost our, arguably one of our best players for 10 games. Uh, any injury cards that I do get, I will put them on him, but uh, for the mean, he's going to be sitting out with that injury. 10 game torso injury, oh, that sucks. So let's hop into another game with Nino Niederreiter and Mr. Jean. All right, we are matched up against Bear Down Crew. Bear Down Crew. That kind of that's kind of a weird name. But the guy we messaged, the guy we played before, actually messaged us, and he said, uh, "Good game, bro. Sorry about Bishop. I forgot he was in net for me. So obviously that Bishop was OP as hell, and uh, he thought that I should have won that that game. But no problem, buddy. Uh, Bishop is unreal, and uh, that was a, that was a great game. So he's got Eric Stahl as his best point producer. Let's see what kind of team this guy has. He's got the uh, Pittsburgh Penguins logo with. Ooh, he's got Yaw. Crosby and Malkin. Oh boy, we are in for a treat. Let's go. Chara. Oh my goodness, it's probably Milestone Yager. Yep, this is gonna be a shit show. Yeah, he is uh, completely outplaying me. Completely. Chara, sit down, Tower Second. Chara is so OP in this game, it's ridiculous. There you go, picking and standing up to the big man. I like it. I mean, if we can get out of the first period tied here, even with the lead, somebody? Oh, Flower. Oh, Dustin Brown. That would have been so nice. I'm going to run out of time. Get a shot. Oh, that's not what I mean when I say get a shot. Miss the net. Okay, so I'm happy to be out of that period 0-0 because uh, he's got a sick team and he definitely could have had three or four goals there. But hope he was playing good. Hope he's playing great. So let's see what the stats are like. I think he's outplaying me. Uh, three. Actually, it's pretty even. Three to four are the shots. Got a little bit more time on attack. We're out hitting him, but that really doesn't mean anything. So I think the second period is really going to open up here. We're getting lucky here. He's not really getting the bounces. Ah, oh, as soon as I say that, the captain, Yager. Oh, man. Gets a nice goal there. Probably Milestone Yager. I can't imagine why he would have a regular Yager playing alongside Crosby and Malkin. But still, uh, oh, I do not want to get on a losing streak. I do not want to open up some bronze packs. Jesus Christ, right after that. Pull back wristers all day. Patrick Kane, 2-0. Oh, Holtby, what a save. There you go, Camilleri. Nice goal. Nice feed from Parise. That was a beautiful goal. I was I knew exactly where Camilleri was going to be, and he made no mistake there. Going blocker side on Flurry. Nice goal. 3-1. Thing is, when you play against a person with Chara, the majority of the time they're going to run at you because nine times out of ten he's going to put you on your ass. So if you can get past in Chara, you're pretty much golden. Uh, but yeah, it's a beast. Look at that shit! Oh my goodness! Holtby, you suck! You fucking suck, Braden Holtby! You are so bad! You are so effing bad! Look at that rebound. Right to him. Yeah, nice goal. And put on our ass there. Okay, 3-4-1 after the second period. This guy is just stomping all over us. Let's get this game over with. Uh, only five shots. Yeah, let's just get this game over with. I'm just playing like absolute horse poop right now. Like just a hot, steamy piece of shit is what I'm playing. I'm not a poor sport. I just really hate losing because I'm not used to it with my other hot team. I'm just not used to losing and I hate it. <laughs> Sit! The fuck down. Travis Zajac. Bad move in the back of the net. 
Look at the rebounds from fucking Braden Holtby. How bad is that? I have never had a goalie that lets in that many fucking rebounds. Like, I know that was my bad defensively, but your goalie shouldn't kick it out 10 feet. Look how bad those rebounds were. Look at that. Like, kicks it out right... What are you doing? What are you doing, Holtby? I hope you never get another start. I need another backup goalie. Come on. There you go, Dan Girardi. Nice play. Keeps it in and uh, makes it 5-2. to two. 14 minutes left. I mean, stranger things have happened, but... There you go, Andre Sequeira with the pull back wristers. Nice goal, 5-3. to three. Two minutes left, yeah, it's, it's definitely over. But still, it's nice to get those goals. Uh, yeah, nice. Yeah, it would have been great to have some super epic comeback, but 30 seconds left, down two goals. I don't think it's going to happen, unfortunately. Would have been nice, would have had some Herb Brooks speeches going on. Great opportunities. Not going to happen, though. All right, good game, bud. All right, good game, bud. Good game. Five to three is going to be the final score unless he gets a really late goal here. But Yager gets laid out. No, he doesn't. He's probably going to back the net. What the fuck is this Christ? With the rebounds and just Holtby is one of the worst goalies I've ever used. And maybe it's just this one game, but... Oh, nice goal by Crosby. That's actually really sick. Um, but, I mean, I don't know if it's going to count or not. Maybe... Nice goal, holy shit, that was really nice. But, Braden Holtby, you are trash. You are a big, steamy pile of dog shit. And the goal counts. 6-3. to three. I called it, they were going to get one more from Malkin and Yager. Too powerful. I mean, what did I really expect, though? Um, I have to get this game over with. 6-3. to three. You know, I'm glad we got three goals. I'm glad we got th three goals. Oh, man. That was rough. That was rough. I just got destroyed there. Uh, I mean, it wasn't even, like, too bad. Just Holtby played, like, a steamy pile of dog shit. Camilleri had two points. We got to open up a, a bronze pack here. How shitty is that? A bronze pack. And we have to use the player from the bronze pack. But now I can go ahead and get, uh, and get um, that fourth liner out of there. So I'm going to do that really quickly. Okay, Holtby, take a rest, buddy. Take a rest. And the fourth liner, we can now get Marty Straka back in here instead of this guy. I don't even think he got any ice last game, but Marty Straka is now there. I mean, I could play. I could actually, Let's actually try something else here. Let's try Tomo Rutu there. Uh, we pulled him, and we never really used him, so let's go ahead and use him on the fourth line. Then we got to open up a bronze pack. Woohoo. That is uh, so exciting. <laughs> let's go bronze pack, baby. Uh, I mean, I'm not really trying to hit it. Maybe a cool jersey. Maybe a cool uh, we pulled, uh, not even a cool jersey, not even a cool jersey, but we have to use a player, uh, let's use somebody with a cool name, uh, Betker, Betker, what do you like, this one is quick, 68 skating, 73 skating, let's use this Betker guy, B, alright, Ben Betker, baby, let's go, he plays for Everett of the WHL, we're gonna get one more game in this episode, so it might be a longer one, because I don't want to end it off on a loss, and uh, I think two losses in a row is a bronze pack again, and uh, so that really sucks, so let's hop into a game here, hopefully we can get that W. Okay, so we're back with Luongo now, gonna try to turn our fortunes around. Two losses in a row, this has never happened in Pack Attack, and I do not want to make it three. So let's try to get a big victory here. We are matched up against a guy with the team name Gudio for Guido, <laughs> Guido for life, Gudio, I'm an idiot. Uh, Men in blue, he's got the Pittsburgh logo, come on buddy. Yeah, he's a Pittsburgh fan, obviously, so hopefully he doesn't have a team like last time with Crosby, Malkin, and whatnot, but let's see what kind of team this guy guy has and hopefully we can get a W. Well his damn Boyle is sick. He has like 350 points in like 250 games or something so Okay, so he's got a pretty good team. He's got Mike Richards, got Dan Boyle. Uh, he's got a pretty middle of the road team here. Dougie Hamilton, baby. Let's go Dougie. I'm pretty sure this team was a team that Dougie Hamilton played junior on. I'm not sure, like, the jerseys that we have. I think it was Dougie Hamilton's junior team. I'm going to have to look it up after, but if not, I probably just sounded like an idiot there. Zajac, baby! 
Travis Zajac, what a snipe that was. Oh my goodness. Over the glove. Is that Corey Schneider in that? I believe it is. But what a snipe that was. Travis Zajac, wow. I was not expecting a wrist shot like that. That just felt powerful. That felt like an OV type wrist shot. Man, that was really, really nice. Above the circle there, it just rips it home. one nothing, baby. Off to a good start. Oh, RJ. You gotta stop breaking your sticks like that. I wanted an RJ with extra cheese, an RJ Umberger with extra cheese, but unfortunately, he broke his stick. Oh, baby, Tuomorutu on the fourth line beats Corey Schneider. There we go, two to nothing. Pretty much the exact same spot that um, that Travis Zajac scored, though that was a little bit nicer. That was a little bit prettier, but still a beautiful goal. Two to nothing. Oh wow, nice goal, Palat. Oh Palat, I miss having you on the team. You're 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 injured, but uh. Nice goal by him there, short side on the one go, two to one now. No way! Consecutively right after that, ties it up. Burrows on his ex teammate, two to two now. What the hell, boys? Come on. Betker, Betker, the guy we pulled can't do a goddamn thing because he has zero hands. I forgot that we had that guy in there, totally forgot. Oh, that was a really nice play. Oh, Corey Schneider makes a nice stop. So it's 2-2 now going into the second period. Uh, he paused for a, a little while there. I don't know if he had like a bathroom break or something. But 11-6 are the shots. We're definitely outplaying them. Uh, hopefully the second period can be a little bit more kind to us. And Louis stopping. Oh, fuck. I was going to say Louis stopping everything. But Paul Stastny. Oh, we just were stuck in our own end. And we, oh, man, that's so frustrating. <laughs> He's capitalizing on everything. So props to him, capitalizing on his chances. But still. Brown. RJ Umberger with cheese. Yes! Umberger with cheese! Give me an Umberger with cheese! Oh, that was beautiful. That was beautiful. That was really nice. <laughs> just stay with it the whole time. And can I get an Umberger with cheese, please? I've been waiting to use that for years. There you go. Just stayed with it and threw the wickets of Corey Schneider. Three to three, baby. Wayne Train? The Wayne Train! The Wayne Train! Four to three. Goals, goals, goals. I like it. a boy, Wayne Train. Nino gets his second assist of the game. Oh, that was bad. Oh, that was so... Is that a penalty shot? No way. Wow, I guess he was on a partial break, so... Come on, Louis. Stay with him. Wow, that was that was a beautiful shot. I'm not even going to be mad about that. I, get, uh, I left a little bit above the glove, and Kessler makes me pay. Four to four. Speed, this is a goal fest. Oh, my there God. There you go. Absolutely dangle shot, Corey Schneider out of his jock strap. I think your jock strap's in section 308, buddy. Right, go grab that. Parise. Unreal. Oh, Tyler Seggs. He's got tons of room. Short -handed That's break. a penalty shot as well. There we go. Come on, Parise. I am terrible at one, at one-on-ones. I have... Zero hands, we're gonna try to do the backhand, wait him out here, there you go! Wait for him to make the first move, Rize makes him pay, 5-4, to four. this has been a really, really exciting game, that was awesome. No, oh, what is with my bad defensive plays today? Oh ho ho, thank god Luongo. Okay, so... Pretty tight game here. Uh, I think it's five to four on the uh, penalty shot from Zach Parise. Eighteen to twelve are the shots. Luongo's not having the greatest game, but we're capitalizing on the power play with three for four with the extra man. So it's looking pretty good here. We need that one more goal though. We need that insurance marker, and I think we'll be just fine. I mean, the thing is, if you guys want to do some nicknames for the for the players, I can't guarantee they're going to be here forever. But I mean, the Wayne Train, you can you guys come up with a nickname for like Nino Niederreiter or something? I don't know. That'd be kind of that'd be kind of cool. Cause I haven't said Wayne Simmons like once. I always call him the Wayne Train. So if you guys come up with some nicknames, that'd be kind of fun. Wow, that one went through, went right through the crease. Oh man, Kessler, almost, eh? almost. Oh, Louis flashing the leather. Get out of my house, Luongo says. Not today. He owns this crease. Oh, no, 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 no. You skate. You skate. You skate. You skate. 
Oh, Pikkanen, you are a life saver. I love you to death. That sounded weird, but we do get the victory, six to five. Oh, that was uh, that was kind of stressful. I'm not gonna lie there. So we're back in the winning column now. One game winning streak. Uh, the shots were, I mean, relatively even. The hits were on his part. Uh, it's just the power plays. They killed him. Uh, we're three, three for four on the power play. Cam Fowler had three assists. That's excellent. That's awesome. That is good stuff. Cam Fowler. Rutu had two points. Uh, this Bedeker guy actually had a, a pretty decent amount of ice. Higgins and Scott didn't even play a second. I didn't even play my fourth line one second in that whole game. That was hilarious. Niederreiter had two assists as well. So pretty decent game. Uh, and let's hop into the next 87.50 pack. And then they're going to call this one an episode. I think it's going to be a pretty long episode. Maybe like... Like half an hour. I uh, hope you guys are okay with that. So let's go ahead and j open up a 87.50 pack. Hoping for the best here. Corey Perry, let's go, buddy. What are you going to deliver us right now? I gotta get something good after coming back here. For those big two wins. Oh, no way. No way. We got Yannick. Hey, you got a Team Canada logo. That's pretty sick. We'll make that our logo. Uh, any injury cards? No injury cards. I'll take these, though. Uh, so I guess we're going to use Yannick Weber as our player. Um, I guess we'll use Yannick Weber. Yeah. I actually have one in my collection, so I'll just put him in there right now. But Yannick Weber is going to be the player we're going to use. I will see you guys when I put him in the lineup. All right, there he is, Yannick Weber, the right defenseman, playing on the left side. He's going to play alongside Dan Girardi for right now. There is a team, though, I want to ask you guys a couple of questions uh, per win. I was thinking we should up it to two packs uh, because, you know, with that pack, you, know, you really got nothing. Uh, there's only an odd chance you're going to get a good player. Uh, it's totally up to you guys, though, if you want to keep it to just one pack per win and then keep it the way that we're doing it. Totally up to you guys, but I hope you guys did enjoy this episode. And uh, one more thing I want to mention, if a player gets more than three points I can upgrade them to their hot live card uh, the thing is if they get three points that's great I'll upgrade them to their lowest special card so say a player like um, oh, who's a player for example off the top of my head who has a lot of cards like Nathan McKinnon say we get a Nathan McKinnon he gets three points great I upgrade him to his hot live card if he gets say five points I'll upgrade him to his milestone and if he gets like eight points ever or whatever I'll upgrade him to his highest to his highest card which would be his team of the year so it kind of depends on how many points they get to be upgraded and if they can't be upgraded like RJ Umberger I'll just put a plus five all on him for, for 10 games or however many games uh, determines how many points he has so if you only had three points then I'll just go ahead and put a five game duration on him or I don't know you guys tell me in the comments down below but I kind of want to add that because I would like to get some special cards in this I think that'd be a lot of fun uh, and I think that'll bring lots more of excitement to the series here if we add some some special cards like how I would love to get a hot live Dougie Hamilton on this on this team that would be fantastic so hope you guys enjoyed it if you did go ahead and drop a like and I will see you in the next video